I'm Buddy Reiser. I'm the Executive Director for Economic Development for Loudoun County. Well, I'm Kim Hart. For the last 25 years, I've worked for the Windy Hill Foundation, first as the volunteer president, then as the executive director, and finally as the manager of the Windy Hill Development Company. And when I started out, Windy Hill had eight units, rental units in Middleburg, and over the last 25 years, we're now up to over 400 units that we've helped build and develop, and the uh, majority of that is in Loudoun County. This property is called Shreveport Ridge. Uh, this is Windy Hill Foundation's biggest property to date. It's 98 uh, units. Uh, it was built uh, to help Brambleton fulfill a proffer that they made way back in the late 1980s that they would provide some affordable housing in exchange for some of their um, zoning uh, uh, approvals that they got. Um, this is affordable workforce housing. It's meant to be affordable to folks who earn 50% of the area median income or less. So in round numbers, household income for a family of four, 60,000 or less. And you know, these are, these are really the working folks. Um, I think it's important to say the, the days of Section 8 housing are gone. Nobody's building Section 8 housing anymore. Forget that. These are working folks. And uh, they do all the jobs that we want. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch of teachers, daycare workers. We've got, last count, we had 10 baristas living here. So uh, if you stop and get your coffee in the morning and then uh, drop your uh, child at daycare or another one at school, you've probably hit three of our folks. When we think about housing, we think about it in a little bit of a different tone. We think about it from an economic development and a business development perspective. When we meet with companies from around the globe who are interested in coming to Loudoun County, their questions relate around, you know, where can I find my workforce? Can they live there? Uh, what is the, the cost of living for my employees? All those things are very, very important. So we approach it more from a housing affordability and a housing mix than any other thing when it comes to housing for Loudoun County. We, I think we all assume we'd like Loudoun County to be economically successful, and if that's the case, what are we gonna to do to put together a plan to address the shortage of housing? Well, I think that it's not just the housing, it's, it's about workforce. And uh, we are a very enviable uh, community right now because we have very low unemployment, we have uh, very, uh, significant wages, we have uh, a lot of growth in our community. So one of the questions they ask is, can I get my workforce and how much is it gonna cost and uh, are they gonna be able to live where, near where they work or they have to spend things on, time on the road? All of those things kind of play into what companies really wanna understand before they make a commitment to any community. I, I think that, that this is a point where we really have to to get folks together and decide what Loud is going to do for the next 15 or 20 years. And I think it, I think we want it to be an inclusive community. I think uh, Dr. Hattrick said a long time ago, uh, he'd like to see more teachers that teach in Loudoun living in Loudoun. Uh, it's important that your family see the teacher at the grocery store in the evening. And that's very hard the way we're running it right now. I'm excited that Loudoun County is proactively having this conversation about housing because it is something that is going to impact us even more in the future. So I think it's important, let's have the conversation, how do we approach this going forward? What do we need to do to make sure that we're able to meet the company's needs and the workforce's needs going forward? I'm glad that conversation is happening and I'm looking forward to being part of the solution there. So please come out, join us, be part of the conversation. Uh, thanks to the Chamber for hosting this. They really deserve a lot of credit for getting uh, workforce housing on the agenda. Uh, Wednesday morning, uh, May 3rd, uh, doors open at 8 at Belmont Country Club. Be there. <laughs>